I'm super excited to share with you this amazing method of running Facebook ads that hardly anyone else is using. If you wanted to promote your business, products or services online and set yourself apart from your competition, you definitely want to keep watching. I like to call it Facebook compound marketing because the results multiply over time. This technique is perfect for companies that want long-term visibility and results. You can even run this alongside traditional lead generation campaigns. This method honestly helped me grow one of my businesses from one location in the UK to hundreds all around the world. Currently, you might be running ads by setting up a lead gen or landing page campaign, adding a hook, multiple demographics, and then launch. The issue with this approach is some products or services require you to build a level of trust with the user before they'll take action. And traditional ads only give you one bite of the cherry. But I like to give them the whole damn cake. So, what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. I'm going to show you exactly how to settle this type of campaign. And you'll be able to see exactly how it works and why it's so effective. First, jump over to Facebook and let's start a new campaign. This approach requires the awareness objective. So go ahead and select this. From the next screen, you'll want to leave Advantage Campaign Plus turned off and then click Next, which will take you to the ad set level. Leave the performance goal as maximum reach and make sure your Facebook page is selected. Next, you want to set your budget and we're going to start with between one to two pounds or dollars per day. Obviously, this is a lot less than what you'd normally spend. However, we're going to be running multiple ad sets, so it'll soon multiply. You can also increase this over time as your campaign starts to perform or not reaching the audience that you wish. Now we move on to audience. Normally you would select a warm audience to run this type of campaign. However, it can work just as well with a cold audience. A warm audience would be targeting users that, for example, visited your website, signed up to your mailing list, or watched a video. You get the picture. If you're using a warm audience, you want to make sure Advantage Custom Audience Plus is turned off, as this will put your ads in front of people that are not warm. Defeating the point. You can leave all other targeting options pretty broad, as your audience is specified by the custom audiences selected, for example, your website visitors. If you're operating in a certain location, please feel free to select a radius that your business operates in. Just make sure you have an audience size with a minimum of 50,000 to 100,000 in order for this type of campaign to work. Alternatively, if you cannot get to this amount using a warm audience, please go down the cold route. The cold audience can still work really well. It just might take a little longer for the results to kick in as you need to warm up the audience first. If you are going down the cold audience route, first select your location. For this, you'll want to ensure you select people living in this location, otherwise you will target people that might have just been visiting. Enter the radius of which your business can serve, otherwise leave this as your country if your business can serve nationwide. Select the age range of your typical customers, leaving this broad if you're a bit unsure. Enter demographics that suit your business. For example, if you are trying to sell golf lessons, you'll want to enter an interest of golf. Just ensure that your audience size is between that 50,000 to 100,000 when selecting. Select manual under the placement section, which is really important to ensure that this type of campaign will work how it should. Once selected, turn off audience network and only target reels, stories, and feeds and remove everything else. This is gonna make sure that your ads are served to the right audience with the highest intent. That's everything for the ad set level, but before we move into the ads, I want you to duplicate the ad 11 times, giving you a total of 12 ads. Obviously, this may be a lot different to how you normally set up campaigns, but it's what makes this so effective and you'll see why. The idea of this type of campaign is not to generate quick sales. This method is for businesses that want to build a brand. So when customers are looking for your product or service, they automatically think of your company above anyone else. This is done by building trust over time. And that's exactly how the campaign works, by compounding trust. Now we have the ad sets, we need to go in to make a few tweaks. Select all the ad sets and press edit on the bid control. I want you to then change the frequency to once every six days. This just ensures your ads are seen the right amount of times, with a variation in the ads which helps avoid ad burn with your audience. In other words, you won't be driving your audience crazy showing them the same ad over and over. That's the ad sets covered, so let's move on to the ads. I'm not going to cover ad copy in this video. You can find this in one of my other videos which you can find at the end. Our ads though are separated into four types which serve very different purposes. The first of these is value, 
and that's exactly what it says on the tin. We want to provide your audience with value, either by giving them a solution or a method of avoiding a mistake. For example, if you're a driving instructor, you could have a video with tips on how to do the perfect three-point turn. Quickly go through and rename the first three ads to value, so you know this will be the type used. You can use a combination of video and images, but I prefer to use video content personally, as I get a higher engagement rate. The next type of ads are demonstration, and this is where you will show ads that demonstrate your product or service. So, for example, if you're selling an online course, you can demonstrate how your course is run and the structure to them. Again, we want to go through and quickly rename these three ads to demonstration, either using a video or image. The third type is feedback. This is where we build confidence with your audience, showing them previous clients that have made the leap and bought into your business. This is a very important step as building trust is the key to this whole type of campaign. Again, go in and rename these so it's easier to follow. Finally, the fourth step is action. Now we have shown customers the value of your products or services, demonstrated how they work, and most importantly, we've built confidence with them. Now it's time to put an incredible piece of bait on that hook and reel them in. For each of you, your action will be different. It could be to make a purchase, book a consultation, or sign up to a course. Some of you might only have one desired action, which is absolutely fine. If this is the case, simply add another into the value or demonstration, so you're still using all 12 ads. Obviously, you will notice that this campaign takes a lot of time and effort to set up. However, due to the nature of the campaign, you are not going to run into ad burn as fast as traditional campaigns. So you can run this type of campaign a lot longer without having to change your content. This type of campaign, however, isn't a magic formula for overnight success. If you're looking for short-term results, this campaign really isn't for you. This type of campaign takes a minimum of six months to really start working. And the longer you leave it, the better it will perform as the results compound over time. You can by all means though, run this type of campaign alongside a traditional sales campaign. And I actually recommend this, is then you get the best of both worlds with instant and long-term results. Now I need to stress to you at this point, this type of campaign is not gonna be for everyone. If your product or service is something either low cost or something that doesn't require a lot of thought, like booking a swimming lesson, this really isn't gonna be for you. However, if you're selling a high value product or offering a service that requires a lot of thought, this is gonna give you some serious returns over time. For more information on how to set up your ads using AI or how to set up campaigns for instant results to run alongside this campaign, I highly recommend you check out my ultimate guide on running successful ads here.